morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to get working in the craft room. Now, craft room is a little messy. You can see that my journal set up behind me. So we're going to have some fun. So hold on and we'll get right there. Okay, I must get started on this. And the first thing that I want to do, now it doesn't sit completely flat. It does have a flat spot, but it tends to wing one way and I'll take care of that um, probably towards the end I'll put a few feet on here to get it to sit straight but do you want to look at it and decide how big and where I want the handle to be and how wide now the, this top of this gourd is pretty wide, but I think I like the way it sits this way, and I have all my tools out here, the safety glasses, reading glasses, a mask, you absolutely have to have one of these if um, you're going to do any kind of cutting on a gourd. Don't forget your mask. I know it's not a hard thing to to forget nowadays, but you're in the house, you still need one. Um, so you got a pencil, and I have Philly Point Burr. But I think, let me stand up here for a second. I think, I think about three inches would probably be really nice. So I'm going to just mark this exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to try to freehand this just a little bit and then measure it again. Make sure I'm coming down at three inches. Oh, missed that one. Luckily, Boards are really easy to erase. You want to keep that line right there. This one's got to come down about that angle. Turn it around and do it on the other side. Okay, that's basically how I want the top. I don't know if you can see those pencil marks, but I will come through with the Sharpie. Now the next thing that I would like to do is decide roughly how big I want the opening on the side. Let's see what the tape measure says here. I think maybe five inches would be just about right. That will give, still give me enough of a base in the bottom. I'm just going to 
kind of freehand this the way I want it. So that will still give me plenty of room to put all kinds of fancy designs and stuff on it. Coming up, I think I'll adjust that line just a little bit. All right. Okay. Now I'll go over that with the Sharpie so that you can see it a little better. Don't worry if you make a mistake. It's really easy to erase or just slightly sand your line. But you probably don't want to do it with the permanent marker until you're pretty sure where you want it to be. But you still can take and um, use a little tiny bit of fine grit sandpaper. Okay, that's about as big as I want a hole on it so I'm going to go ahead and start see if I can do it twice but first thing I want to do is mark five inches down okay I'm going to come to about there sure I got this going at about the same angle and curve that the other one is. Looks like I dropped that one down just a little bit further. I know, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, but there's actually nothing perfect. Yeah, that one's just not round enough yet. It's an awful lot like um, when Mark does construction stuff. Perfection is an illusion. I think this one, this line is, just isn't dropping far enough. But the other thing too is you can always adjust it as you're carving it too. If you find something looks better one way, and sandpaper, because you can always use some sandpaper to adjust it too tends to take off a little bit less of the time than the Dremel does.
look at that. Balance it out. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and mark this one with the marker too. Okay, that's what I'm going to go ahead and go with. However it is, however it looks. I'm going to get my mess cleaned up here just a little bit. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to get my Dremel set up. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, just a quick note in here before I get started on this. Um, I will have to put a break in here to go ahead and carve this because it is going to take um, an awful lot of noise and an awful lot of time. So what I'll do is I'll put a break in here so I can do this and get some of it on camera. But then Mark can um, put some music over it. But what I wanted to show you was my Philly Point Burr. You can see that that is like coarse sandpaper, but it has a very fine point and a very thick point at the base. Now you might remember I used um, a Philly Point Burr last year when I did this. And you can see, well I hope you can see it, the holes. Put it up to the light, maybe you can see the holes in there a little bit better. But that is what those burrs are used to do and you can see on here they have a small picture right there with the on the packaging but they are an absolute fabulous burr to use and when you're doing fine cutout work um, something that, that you would be hard pressed to follow with a, a regular cutting disc on the Dremel these are absolutely wonderful. So I will get started on this and I'll be right back.
Okay, now it's time to pop this open. And there's the inside. And that gourd that is it that is incredibly thick. I really like that. But it does mean you got to work just a little bit harder to get all the way through it. But one thing to remember when when you're cutting with a Philly Point burr, make sure to let the burr do the work. Don't force it, don't push it. Just move it slightly up and down and let it do the work. But not really gonna clean this out quite yet. I still have one more side to do. But, you know me and curiosity. I get down in here and look at the seeds. Because you know we're going to keep all the seeds out of these guys. Let's see how big those seeds are. This is actually one of the big drum gourds that just didn't get quite as big. Now, we have some downstairs that are, you know, three and four feet across. This one didn't get as big, but I will not throw out a gourd for a reason like that. Just find the perfect use for it. But, yeah, that's a lot of seeds. I don't know if you can see down in there. But, yeah, it will definitely take some cleaning, but that is one side of the basket open. I need to do the other side, and I am really happy with the thickness on that gourd. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get my mess cleaned up just a little bit, and I'm going to get ready to start on the second side. Okay, I have both cut out now, and that is the direction, so I can get it, that I want this to sit. Now, like I said earlier, it, it sits a little funny because the bottom isn't perfectly flat, and I'm going to put legs on there, but I have it all cut out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around here with some coarse sandpaper, even this out and smooth it out really nice. And then I've taken quite a bit of the stuff out of the inside, but still need to clean that up just a little bit. I'm absolutely tickled with how um, thick the wall is on this gourd. But 
I'm going to get to doing a little bit of sandpaper work and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about the angle, um, the sun is getting to set and getting really low in the sky and usually this time of day this window gets absolutely very bright so kind of had to, to shift just a little bit but it's the end of part one. I have everything cut out and cleaned up. show you a good look in there. I wish I could sit back here just a little bit. Maybe I could do that and hold it up and show you a little bit better. But I am kind of limited on space and angles because of the sun coming through the window and about 18 other projects that I have sitting around the room. But there it is. Move it back here just a little bit. And you look inside. It's all cleaned out but the next thing I want to do will be tomorrow's project uh, well I know me I'm not going to sit around very long I might get started on it tonight but it's time to start putting some designs on on this and having a little bit more fun but there it is you can see all the way through both holes right there yep Kind of give you more of an idea of what I meant by a basket and the the walls on this gourd are just so thick that you probably now it is a deck a, more of a decorative basket but with the walls as thick as they are as long as you don't put anything in here too heavy you can see just how thick the walls on that gourd are and yeah one fun thing that I absolutely love about gourds is anything that you can do with wood, you can do with a gourd. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, get cleaned up a little bit more and um, start working on number two, part two of this project. So, yeah. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. We had a whole lot of fun going to nice gourd and um yeah back in the craft room kind of it's always kind of a little bittersweet because i love to get in the craft room but i also love to be outside and getting dirty and playing in the gardens but i'm a little grateful right now for a little slow down a little bit of time off get some time to have a little bit of fun and this is actually only the first of three videos that i wanted to make um concerning this project and yeah so, probably going to have to take a little bit of time off. Yeah, it's going to be about supper time for too long. And I'm going to get working on um, the, the second part of this series. But, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Made a big mess. So, you know, it had to be a whole lot of fun. But, I should probably go ahead and get on out of here before I talk your ear off yet again. Um... If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when I'm cutting something else up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget there are two more in this series. And I'm going to get to work on that second one here in just a little bit. But don't forget we love you and we'll see you in the next one.